Hi, I am pediatrician Dr. Andrew Balder from Bay State Health. Congratulations on the birth of your new baby. Becoming a parent is the greatest gift one could receive. It is important for us as doctors to make sure that you have the best tips for caring for your child and keeping them safe, especially when it comes to sleep. Hi, I'm Emily Osborne, lead parent educator at Bay State Health. There's so much that parents should know before bringing your baby home, and all of that information at once can be quite overwhelming. Today, I'd like to take a couple of minutes to focus on the importance of following safe sleep practices to protect babies from infant sleep-related deaths. One of the first helpful things to think about is that babies are cuddled in the womb during pregnancy, and after birth, they expect nothing less than being cuddled and falling asleep in our arms. However, we must help our babies to develop the skills to sleep alone in their own sleep space. Healthy babies should always be put to sleep on their backs, on a flat, firm surface, like a crib or a bassinet, for every sleep during the first year of life, as this is the safest position for them to sleep. Car seats, loungers, and inclined baby seats are not considered safe for sleep. If you are concerned about your baby choking or spitting up from sleeping on their back, consider the baby's airway anatomy and the gag reflex that will keep that from happening. We recommend keeping baby in your bedroom with you at night, but not sharing a bed with you. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, room sharing can reduce the risk of SIDS, otherwise referred to as Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, by 50%, and it is much safer than bed sharing. In addition, room sharing will make it easier for you to feed, comfort, and watch your baby. There are many things that can reduce your baby's risk of sleep-related deaths, including exclusive breastfeeding, no exposure to secondhand smoke, and not using any thick or fluffy blankets, pillows, bumpers, or stuffed animals, which could cover your baby's face. If you are worried about your baby being cold, it's okay to use infant sleep clothing such as a wearable blanket or sleep sack. Remember that anyone who watches or cares for your baby, whether that be a friend, family member, or daycare provider, should be aware of the recommendations for safe sleep. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask for help. The first few weeks of parenthood can be physically and emotionally overwhelming and exhausting. It takes a village to raise a child. We recommend that you ask for help from family and friends, who are often more than willing to help. Hello, I am Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni. What you just watched could save your baby's life. Investigators from my office respond to infant deaths far too commonly. Most of these tragic cases are avoidable. The next several months should be a joyful experience. Let's make sure your family stays safe as you welcome your baby home. Remember, keep your baby safe even while they sleep. Thank you. To rewatch this video or find more information on safe sleep, visit baystatehealth.org/safesleep.